In the year 90s, there was ethnic cleansing in my state. The war was between Kuki and Naga tribes in relation to conflict of land and other matters. This resulted in children in Chandal district of Manipur left with deep mental scarring and psychological problems. The opposing tribes suffer equally and even today, children from different tribes are scared to mingle with one another. This is now changing thanks to the work of Manipur Alliance for Child Rights, who are involving all children regardless of the ethnicity in games and creative activities. We want these children to come together and enjoy their childhood because they didn't get the childhood enjoyment. So then if they come together here, they can enjoy together, they can uh, feel belongingness, then they can uh, be united and in the process they can also be trained to become a good uh, leader. Did you go to school? Yes. <coughs> Why you came here? I'm coming to her being football. No, I like go fighting. Football. I like to play football. The, their original village was damaged during the conflict. So they would settle here and the children, they want to get education so they stay here and uh, get the education. Because in that area, there's no proper school to get education. Actually, they have house in that, in that village also and here also. So their parents used to go in their original ways and cultivate and support the children here. But they have difficulties. But because of that we are supporting these children to come together, to renew their mind and how to come together, to live as a human being together. Despite the turn of even due to ethnic cleansing and war, children have the chances to bring the parents in unity and live in peace among different tribes. This is the befitting example of children in conflict, willing to or at any cost to bring peace. And I hope the rest of the world will follow the example of these warrior children in my state, Manipur. This is Kami Mercy from Manipur reporting for India Unheard.